It's pretty pathetic, honestly, how these low lives work together with each other. Honor among thieves. And as much as I don't like making these videos about the negative things happening to me, what am I supposed to do? I hire three lawyers. They all work against me. These people steal my ideas, my money, infiltrate my business, destroy my personal life to the point where my own family turns against me. You know, what these secret society degenerates have done to me is irreparable. My mother, double kidney transplant, stroke patient, has lost 20 pounds over the past month because this has induced some type of paranoia for her. And I'm sure most of you know the details about how my business partner stole money from me, but YouTube was kind enough to take down the video of him in lieu of a privacy complaint. You know, Mr. Starowitz, I would say I don't enjoy having to deal with this, but one of my viewers was kind enough to make a website in your memory. On adamstarowitz.com, they have the privilege of seeing your Instagram, your LinkedIn profile, a brief summary of what you did, and those two videos you wanted taken down oh so badly. Maybe you should join the rat in Costa Rica. I'm sure he has plenty of teenage boys to go around. Speaking of which, his website has been up for a few years now. It's kind of crazy what these people can do, and then their control over everything allows them to just sweep it under the rug. You know what's strange is I looked at his LinkedIn profile a few weeks ago. It said he was currently employed with the Little Beat Table. After I posted that video on him, he changed it to not currently employed. And that means one of two things. He was fired from the job after someone saw the video and contacted them, or he removed it as his current employer so that no one would do that. Uh, either way, I have a feeling Mr. Starowitz isn't going to have a job after this, if he did have one. As much as I'm a very forgiving person, the way these secret society scumbags act is beyond forgiveness. Someone who agrees to open a business with me, to split profit 50-50, grow something together, instead takes advantage of me, my followers, to pad his own bank account, deceives me the entire time. If it was up to me, this guy would work in a dungeon of a kitchen for the rest of his life to pay off his legal fees. And to be honest, the way things are going, <laughs> that's what it looks like. As I said, I hired two lawyers. They both screwed me over. They didn't file any motions in court for me. They just let default judgments go against me. They didn't listen to anything I say, and then they withdrew from the case. So it's, it's pretty sad how I have money stolen from me. I'm the victim, and then the courts, the judges, the arbitration people, they, they all screw me every step of the way. So it's very clear what's going on here. And, uh, you know, th these people are selfish, and they want all the power to themselves. And, and things like this that rarely happen because no one is really in a position like me or... or uh, true examples of what they do to people.